Warren Gatlin, he took his coaching nous offshore early on. First stop, Ireland, where at the age of 35, he was appointed head coach in 1998. London came calling next, where he led Wasps to three consecutive titles, including the illustrious Heineken Cup in 2004. A short stint back home in New Zealand, and it was a national provincial championship with his beloved Waikato team. Before you know it, the North came calling again. His task this time, to turn Wales's fortunes around. And what happened next was quite simply remarkable. Four Six Nations titles, including three Grand Slams. 12 years would see Warren take the Red Dragon to three Rugby World Cups, but that wasn't it. A stint with the British and Irish Lions in 2013, seeing a series victory over the Australians down under. Fast forward four years, and where would he land up? The land of the long white cloud, New Zealand, and a series draw against the then world champion All Blacks. Yeah, I loved playing for Waikato and used to often joke, you know, if he'd cut me open, I'd bleed red, yellow and black. Warren Gatlin just going up, he got a bit of blood around the eye. I'm very proud of my roots. Went through Hamilton Boys High and, and played for Hamilton Old Boys, played for Telpoli as well. And the Waikato have won the national championship. Passionate about the area and just, and the fans and the people, just how loyal they are and it's great to be back. is quite remarkable. They are the best team in the Northern Hemisphere. Warren Gatlin has the perfect gift. I've been lucky enough with teams that I've been involved with, whether it's been club side or international, that we've been reasonably successful. And for me, success isn't always about winning. Success is about overachieving. It's all over. The last place Sunday. Warriors have won the Grand Slam. Warriors have won the Triple Crown at Twickenham. So, you know, what are the expectations going into a season? The predictions are that you might finish in the bottom half of the table, but you finish in the, in the top half, of, then that's success. You might not win it. The whistle goes. And how much does that mean to the British and Irish Lions? And that's what I think success is about. It's about overachieving. Oh, get it. Huge influence on Welsh rugby and also, of course, the British and Irish Lions as well. But you're back again. Been a brilliant 12 years. I'm being back now. That wasn't the plan. The plan was to finish after the World Cup and go to the beach for about six or seven months and then back to the UK for the Lions in South Africa in 2021. One of the things about New Zealand, there isn't a lot of top coaching jobs. You know, you've got five super rugby teams, you've got the All Blacks. One of the things about New Zealand is that there, there isn't always the number of opportunities. Yep. And so the Chiefs come along and I went, oh, if I don't take this now, then it might not be there in a couple of years. The motivation to come back was just the right time. And everyone talks about, oh, have you come back because you want to be an all-black coach? No, they said, that's not in my thinking. I kind of think it's the here and now, and the here and now is being involved with the Chiefs, doing well with the Chiefs. And if you do well with the Chiefs, then other opportunities come along. So what I've noticed is just one how young the players are, sort of blown away by the talent. Young, they want to improve, they want to get better, they're competitive. It's identifying what is really good here, and I think some of the detail here from attacking perspectives are pretty good. Defensively, we'll probably look to change things up. I know a lot of teams at the moment in New Zealand are looking at line speed and improving mm. line speed. And ironically, and New Zealand rugby wouldn't probably realise it, New Zealand players or New Zealand teams, we've been saying in the Northern Hemisphere for a long time, when New Zealand teams start getting line speed and start bringing line speed and more heat on defensively, that's going to be a game changer for New Zealand. Probably the biggest weakness I've seen in New Zealand rugby since I've been has been the kicking game. And I think that's one area that, with the Chiefs with David Hill, we're trying to work hard on improving that aspect of our game. And particularly with young players as well, they want to play and, and do everything. And so for me, it's kind of getting that balance between, I'll give them the license to attack from anywhere and make the right decisions. And if that means We've got a two-man or three-man overlap or, or on, on our own goal line, and then you've got the licence to, to go and to do that. But also what we need to be aware of is our game management, and the game management is that, hey, if we're going nowhere, maybe we need to find some space and get on the front foot and turn them around, put them into a corner. They trade him with the drop kick. It's over. 
Those are the sort of things that we're working on at the moment. Not come and change everything overnight and, and work with structures that have been there in place and make sort of subtle changes over the period of the season and then hopefully um, we can build on that over the next few years.